Relating slope and y-intercept to linear equations, less than seven notes. Example number seven. All right, so again, when you are not given zero in the xy chart, when you're not given x equals zero, your first step will be to find the slope, and the second step will be to use the point slope form, which is what we used in example six. Okay, so do we see a zero here? No, we do not. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find the slope. So to find the slope, I'm gonna take 37 minus 15, and then I'm gonna take three minus one. So just so you understand what you did, put 37 minus 15. So 37 minus 15 is 22. Over here, we're taking three minus one, because remember, you go from the bottom up. Three minus one is two. This is my rise, because it's my difference in y. This is my run. To find my slope, I put rise over run. So rise over run. And 22 divided by two is 11. So my slope is positive 11. My slope is positive 11. All right, so let's go over here a second. Which ones can we eliminate knowing my slope is positive 11? Which ones can we eliminate knowing that the slope is positive 11? Well, we can eliminate A because this says negative 11. So A can be eliminated. And we can eliminate D because that says negative 11. So now I know my choices are either B or C. But to continue, I need to take my x1, y1, and my slope, and plug them into the formula to find my equation. All right, so my slope is 11. Let's go ahead and put our, our x1, y1 here. So x1 is one, y1 is 15. So this would be x1, y1. So this information right here is what we're plugging into this equation there. All right. By writing it there, it allows me to blow it up a little bit. So we've got y and then the opposite of y1. y1 is positive 15, so negative 15. Then I need my slope. My slope is 11. X, and then, then opposite of X1. X1 is positive one, so the opposite of it would be negative one. All right, we don't have any double negatives, so the first thing we're gonna do is the distributive property. So this will stay y minus 15. Eleven times x is eleven x. Eleven times negative one is negative eleven. And once you've done the distributive property, the next step is to isolate the variable y. I want to get y by itself. Well, what's with the y? A negative 15. The opposite of negative 15 is positive 15. So I'm going to add 15 to both sides. Cancel out those. So my equation, y equals 11x, and then negative 11 minus 15. Again, you would be using your calculator if you need to. 
11, or negative 11 plus 15, so or 15 minus 11, is positive 4. So my equation is y equals 11x plus 4. So my answer is C. If you have any questions on example 7, let me know.